Finally, a video that will tell you how to bifurcate on a Dell 7820. There is like no guides out there for how to do this, but today is the day. So first you're gonna need a PCI expansion card that will take 16 lanes and allow those to be split amongst four PCIe devices. In this case, we are using M.2 NVMe drives and we have four of them here. So the Dell, this particular Dell server comes with that, but if yours does not, you can always buy this particular expansion card or use a third party one. And all you need to do from here is simply put this in one of the slots that is labeled uh, PCIe by 16, 75 watts. And why that's important is because you will actually need to power all of these devices. And on this particular motherboard, not all of the PCIe lanes are powered or well they have power but not enough for all of the pci devices so keep that in mind as uh, you move forward with this particular workstation now just make sure it's hooked up to an external display and we will need to put the cover back on or it will not boot as a safety precaution and once we do that we can power it on and then get into the bios where we'll need to make a couple of changes to make bifurcation work. After powering on, it may take several seconds or however long to get to the Dell logo, but once we're at the Dell logo, you'll simply want to press F12 a bunch of times to get into the BIOS. Here at the boot options, we are just going to skip past all of these and go straight to BIOS setup. We'll press enter to get into there. Then we want to simply navigate down to system configuration expanding it and then revealing several more options all the way here towards the bottom you will see intel bmd technology this is virtual management device technology from intel and what we're going to want to do is change it from auto to disabled so this way the intel vmd controller will not try and take precedence over our nvme devices so we can actually see all four PCI devices, NVMe drives, whatever you want to call them, in our BIOS as well as in our operating system. Okay, so we want to make sure we applied those settings and then we can simply exit by hitting the escape key. The BIOS changes will apply and we'll simply just have to wait for our system to reboot. And now that our system is rebooted, we have a couple of options. We can go all the way to the operating system if we wanted, or we can hit F12 again to get into the boot options. Here we are once again at the boot options, and we can actually see all four drives listed. And well, from here, you should be able to see all those drives in the operating system, of course. Uh, now, I'm not gonna do that because I know it works. I've actually tested this before, and that's why in the uh, previous scene, you actually did see all four devices listed because I actually had the VMD technology disabled. And that's all you need to do. Now, there are two slots on here that are labeled 75 watts. I believe both will bifurcate. Um, I don't know if you can use two NVMe adapters. Unfortunately, that's not something I can test for at this time. But if I do happen to get my hands on additional drives, I will try to make a video for everyone out there who is curious to see if you can use eight NVMe devices with this system. This particular setup is an Intel 4114, so it may not be applicable to all Dell 7820s, uh, but as long as you have the necessary lanes, in theory it should work. And what do I mean by lanes? This particular CPU has 48 lanes available to it, and you find that out by taking the model number of the Xeon that is in the system and typing that into Google and going to Intel's ARC page and then you can see the number of PCI lanes available to the CPU. If there are any other questions I can answer, of course, just drop a comment below and I will do my best to answer those. And thanks for watching. I will see you all next time.